Chris, and this is my how to paint your plastic parts so they look brand new again. So I'm currently working on the video where we have to take the paint off of a plastic part and make it look perfect again. But in this video, we have a part that has not been painted that we want to look perfect. So this is the 2004 Jeep Wrangler, and you can see we got one test piece done, took the paint off, made it look like a factory plastic part. So we don't want it too shiny, don't want it too dull, and to me that looks perfect. So this is the license plate bracket for the Jeep Wrangler, and you can see on the back where the sun hasn't been hitting it, it still looks good, but it's completely faded and looks really bad. Right, so many people out there get suckered into buying crap like this. This stuff lasts if the plastic is not that bad. So if we put it on this, it's gonna look good and last a long time. But if you try to put that on this, it's probably gonna last a few days, maybe a week if you're lucky. So we're gonna try to get this as clean as possible and we're gonna spray it with some paint you can spray over plastic and give it a nice black look instead of having to put this crap on it every time we wash the vehicle. There's even people that put like mayonnaise and potato salad, all kinds of crap on these plastic parts to try to make them black. Yeah, it works for a day or two, but it's really stupid, especially if you live somewhere like I do in Houston, Texas, where we have intense summers. So this is not a prepping plastic for paint video. You get this as clean as possible, scrub it, whatever you gotta do, dish soap, special juice, lemon juice, alcohol, whatever. I am gonna sandblast mine because that is what I feel like is the best way to clean it. So I'm not trying to etch this material, I'm just trying to clean it and we're gonna be spraying it from a distance. This is just super quick, easy, and budget. You can get this at Home Depot. We are using flat black. This can go over plastic. It works great. Put as many coats as you need. We're just gonna dust two light coats on there, maybe three. First coat on light. Wait a few minutes in between coats. In all my rattle cam videos, people are like, you forgot to use an adhesion promoter. Well, you use one if you feel like you need to. I don't because I've never had my paint jobs flake off, peel off, rub off, or anything. But you notice what I did different, a sandblast. I know that they're clean. I'm not using Kotex 71211 cleaner in one, followed up by a nice BR2217 gel. Stuff like adhesion promoter gets spread around the internet because people that work at shops are all excited and they wanna go out there and see what's on the internet. If you're doing this for somebody and charging money, you want to use an adhesion promoter. I would be using it right now, but this is for me on my Jeep. And I promise you this stuff is not gonna flake off. It's not gonna fade off. And if it does, I'll make a video on it. Okay, so we got about three light coats on there. We're gonna go ahead and let this thing dry. We're gonna go ahead and put it back on the Jeep and look at it when it's done. And I apologize, the Jeep is super dirty. I have not washed it in six or seven months because it will not pass inspection right now I'm having some evap issues but taking a little bit of time to take that stuff off video coming on the fender flare restoration that is not easy because it already has paint on it and we have to get it off but you see what the final result looks like it really looks beautiful remember how that looked in the beginning i swear this whole job right here took less than an hour and if it ever fades again, you just take it off, scrub it, whatever you gotta do, sandblast it a little bit and give it a few more coats. That's just two or three coats just to color it. Or you could buy a brand new one, but why? You don't have to spend that money. So you notice in my videos, I do close-ups. I get that light reflecting off of it so you know exactly what to expect. It looks like a factory plastic part, just like that. That is not painted. And these three kind of look the same. So if you want these results, you have to use exactly what I used. 
This is from Home Depot. Flat black. It has to have that weird soccer ball thing on there. But always keep in mind, flatten your gloss. This looks like bare plastic, and that almost looks like it has armor all on it. So on some vehicles, you may want it to have the armor all look. Because I used to think those semi-gloss ones look better, and now I think that looks better for some weird reason. It looks perfect. It's beautiful. I don't know how much those things are brand new, but you really don't need to buy one. You don't need to buy any plastic parts. Just do what I did. Now this is actually borderline. It looks bad, but you can actually cover it up with some detail spray. You could spray that if you wanted to. It's not quite there yet. The windshield wipers actually could use a spray. Same process. All right, well, that's it for the video. Just a quick little idea on what you can do. It makes a world of difference. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.